my guys today I'll be talking about the awesome TBS Discovery um, what can I say it's an incredible piece of kit so uh, today we'll be taking it out for a flight and giving it a first uh, test flight so uh, let's head down the field right now and have a look <laughs> Okay, so uh, the first test, so I was messing around with the gain, so I think uh, we'll head back down the field a little bit later on. In the background there, you can see a big box. That's going to be for FPV and storage of my TBS Discovery. So let's have a look at it. Maybe uh, do a little build video for you as well. Guys, all you people out there with uh, TBS Discoveries or uh, quads that you want to uh, maybe build a little box for or uh, have it for transportation or even an FPV setup uh, kind of ground station box uh, here's my video of uh, what I did to create my one so hope you enjoy so uh, first of all here's the machine and the box uh, TBS is in the bottom and all the FPV stuff is at the top um, it the box is actually pretty big it's probably twice as big as I need. Anyway, the build, here we go. For this, I needed a box strong enough uh, to contain everything. So I went with Thermodyne. They make military stuff. Uh, this was actually from Lufthansa. Uh, there we go, there's some quality video of uh, the thing. Uh, it is tough, very strong. But as I said, it is bloody big. Anyway, first off, the uh, foam came with the box. I got it off eBay. Uh, I uh, mounted all the parts, uh, sub-fused uh, all the parts into the foam. Uh, this made uh, putting the box back together again very easy. There was no sagging with the uh, foam at all, it was all structurally sound. So uh, that's the uh, video mount uh, put in. Now I put in the, um, the monitor, uh, there's a little uh, piece of metal there that just slides in. I had to mount this upside down and uh, cut away a little piece of plastic on the back. Here's the receiver with uh, the clover leaf. Well anyway next is you have to cut away the foam for the TBS. Uh, I used a, a soldering iron uh, after uh, basically tracing out the shape. Here you can see one, one of the parts where the leg goes, that's where the front goes. So that's that cutaway, and I just mount it in. Uh, I'm just soft putting it in for now. I will uh, probably double side Velcro the back so that it sits in and stays in until I want it. Uh, unfortunately, I have to take the blades off to put this in, but that's okay because uh, for safety reasons, when you're pissing about with this machine, you probably want the blades off anyway. So, uh, as you can see, there's plenty room for this to fit in and my radio gear uh, I could probably put a charger in there as well uh, with a ground battery uh, but really it's just too big so that's it uh, next thing I need to do is put the battery in uh, it runs the uh, receiver and the monitor and I've tested this to run for around an hour so that's perfect so uh, yeah, go no signal, it's actually upside down. Now this is me putting it away, you can uh, release the, uh, the thingy and just push it back up. Uh, I'm gonna have to find a Velcro uh, system for holding all this, uh, the electronics in, but basically for now, that I'm happy. So uh, let's head back to the flying field and see how my first flight pans out. Uh, remember we left it at uh, a slight bouncy bouncy sort of situation uh, that was the gains but now it's ready to fly here we go right uh, taking off We're just gonna fly forward a bit uh, just pretty much keep it flat and level I'll just pan around here you can see it's a little bit windy um, so just facing me just let it hover it's really just a battery uh, timing test that I'm doing. Uh, just pan around, just swing it about, seeing the speeds of it. I think the yaw's pretty fast. I need to slow that down so I can uh, get decent video. 
the camera is actually just mounted uh, straight onto the TBS Discovery frame. There's very little jelly. Very happy with that. You can see the wind there is pushing it and it's counteracting itself. Again, I'm just leaving it to hover. So I'm pretty happy with the way it adjusts itself. I may change the gains a little bit. You can see it oscillating a little as we come down. It may be the wind. So I'm pretty happy with the way it flies. The next video I do, I will uh, have someone filming and that will do a flight review. So right now I'm sitting at my second flight. So anyway, thank you very much and next time. Goodbye. Oh, missed the button. What an asshole.